Shaber 1000 here. Did a little vlogging, so I thought we would change this uh, GFI out here. Uh, you plug it in, plug something into it. Most of the time, it'll pop. Okay, you got to reset it. See, so it's not working right. It, we got that. It's up here on the counter, and uh, over there, there should be one in there too, especially because it's closer to the sink. Uh, so, um, I'm gonna go turn the power off. I've got one here. It's not a brand new one, so hopefully it'll work. Uh, this is what 20 amp. So, hopefully it'll work. Uh, I got this at flea market, so, or yard sale or whatever. So, it should work. But, anyway, let's give this a shot. Uh, the, uh, the cover's not, you know, going to match, but that's okay. Uh, let me go make sure the power's turned off. Okay, guys, I got this checked with my voltmeter, and uh, it's not reading really anything to. So, let's go ahead and take that out. Also, plugged something in. I plugged the coffee pot in, turned it on, and it didn't come on. So, let's go ahead and take this out of here. I guess this can be kind of a how to, but you guys see me do this before on different things. But if you haven't, then that's good. Something fell out of there. Okay. I'll be putting a switch in here too sometime when I put lights up above the sink there I think I'll run it off jump off this leg here make sure let's go ahead and pull this out kind of that's kind of screwed in it like literally All right. black wires on the right white wires on the left and then we got the ground let's go ahead and take this ground wire off I wonder how that cracked up like that. It's pretty weird, huh? Alright, that's good enough. Let's see here. I think see these. This one don't, but these have holes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These have holes you can just boom boom stick them down in it, and it tells you whites over here and uh, hot's over here which hot is the is the black one so so good like that so we'll probably just clip these off and uh, straight and just jam them in there the ground will do the same exact way as they did this, but the other ones will just stuff in them holes, stick it back in there. So.
so. Damn. Whoops, sorry. I'm trying to watch a movie bumping the camera. We're supposed to be doing a live stream tomorrow night over in the tree house, but we'll just have to see how that goes, if I'm feeling any better or not. I don't want to get any sicker. There we go. I won't clip these off straight. So we can jam them down in them holes right there, so. They don't have to be super long. Just long enough to lock ourselves in. Oh, that's weird. like that. Damn, I'm in them holes. And they won't pull out. The reason why there's two holes in each one that, yeah, they won't pull out is because uh, it's supposed to stay in there. One's a re release. You stick something in there and it's supposed to release it. And it doesn't seem to be working right, so wait, I think you gotta tighten the screw, yeah. Alright. I forgot. Some of these you have to tighten the screw on to hold it in there, so Then you can jump off of it using the other holes or jump off of it here. Doesn't matter. Just don't overload your circuits. I'm not an electrician. Just a guy that knows how to do some things that does save you a little money. I mean, you know, you pay somebody to do this, but, you know, they're going to charge you double than what this thing costs plus the labor is going to be outrageous to come in and do a 10 minute job so I've got a ground on this, this green the green screw is always your ground guys Shoot. okay alright now let's see if we can get this back up in here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now. Let's go ahead and working around the camera here, so. Get in there. That's why they make these kind of long so you can get them started and they'll kind of push their way up in there. Oops, sorry guys.
you can use a power screwdriver for this if you want to I just choose not to because I don't like stripping things out you know so and this would be pretty easy to do to strip it out that is I mean, you guys all over the place here, aren't I? We gotta put a, a light bulb in the front porch too. It's it burned out on us the other night. We was outside. We had Bruno out. Shit. And uh, we come back in. I turned the light on. We want to go back out again a little bit later and. Uh, light wasn't on. There we go. Uh, sorry guys. Keep hitting that damn camera. Alright, now let's get this in here and we'll we'll check it out. this in we'll move you over here Oops. and hopefully you guys can see and hear this thing kick on when I go hit the breaker all right so hang tight guys well you know what <laughs> I could have had the light on all the time I forgot that the uh, the main kitchen lights on a different circuit so okay you watch that and we'll see okay now I heard this thing this one may not be any good either because I just heard it pop okay so this may not be any good either Let's reset it. Yeah, that one's no good either. <sighs> it may even be worse than the other one. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I turn anything on. Alright. Well, anyway, that's how you do it. I'm just going to have to go buy a new one. I gave a guy three bucks for that thing. I, well, you know. But, yeah. It's just, uh. Well, anyway. That's how you do that. So, I'll be doing this again. I'm not even going to bother putting this one back in because of that crack. So. And I'm not going to put a regular one in because of the water. This counter does get wet. Okay. So, let's go, uh. Let's change a uh, light bulb in the, um, in the front porch. I think I got a bulb in there. I believe so. All right, let me clean this up here, and we'll go put a new light bulb in the front porch. All right, guys. Now, where's the... Make sure the switch is off. Yeah. Okay, we got another bulb here.
Okay, let's kick that on and make sure it's working okay. Yeah, all right. We got light again. Hope this bucket holds out for me. I didn't really feel like dragging the eight foot step ladder out right here just to do this little job. So, two items we repaired one item that was replacing the bulb and uh, the other item we didn't really repair it because it didn't fix the issue but um, we will uh, but we did re replace it so at least you know how to do that so all was not lost well I'm out three dollars stupid idiots so if I was going to sell something like that, I would make sure it worked first. Alright, let's see what else we can work on, shall we? So we got this water filter here. Yeah, soon, hopefully soon, we're going to be putting a new hot water tank in here. These aren't very hard. You just got to get inside here. Unhook your wires. It's 220, and you got your, your inlet and your outlet and your overflow there. Uh, but this right here is the water... Uh, it's not a water softener. The water softener don't work. That's the thing for the water softener. This is just a filter. But every so often, I want to, uh, you want to back flush it and clean it out. And I haven't done it in a while, and I can tell. But here's where the water will come out. And you may, may or may not notice uh, a little discoloration on it. But, uh, let's get you zoomed in here a little bit. Okay. There's a hole in the wall over here I could run that through. And I could set the timer and it would do it itself, but since I'm home, I used to have it that way. But since I'm home all the time now, because I like to let it run a full, a full circuit, it takes a couple hours. But, uh, I'll go ahead and turn it on and I'll show you what it looks like coming out of there. Yeah, you might not be able to tell it, but uh, you can tell on something white like the, uh, the commode bowl or something like that. After a while you can tell uh, it is hard water. But the bathroom gets really rusty because it does have a it does have a hot water leak. But uh, so I'm gonna let this run a couple hours and then we'll go from there. Okay, guys. So I thought I'd I've been wanting to do this. I'm gonna take this old Folgers can here. I'm gonna make a little birdhouse out of it. This is a uh, 24.2 ounce. It's one pound point eight two ounces. This is pound and a half a coffee can thing here you can use smaller ones bigger ones whatever we use this thing to trace me a hole in this so I can get them a hole to go in then we're going to paint it this is going to be their perch because I can't I think I used all my wooden dowels that I have for the purchase so we're we're just going to use this for the perch so let's go ahead and I'll put that right see that's kind of like that's right in the center so I'm just going to kind of eyeball it here so we can cut a hole out for some reason my pen don't want to write on that on the table but it won't write on this so let me go get a marker okay I got my sharpie here that should write on it hopefully kind of I'm just going to eyeball this I 
I could probably make the hole bigger, but the problem with that is the squirrels around here. If you make the holes much bigger, you'll have a bunch of squirrels living in your birdhouse. should have next one like this I make I'll just uh, I'll use my hole saw but I feel like digging it out just to do this so we're using a knife take your time you know and it'll look okay this is kind of screwed up but It'll be fine for a birdhouse. It doesn't have to be code. And I think I need to sh change my blade in this too. Anyway, I've got this all washed out. We'll put this right dead center of that. I'm going to put the perch. The perch is going to be like that. Okay. But, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, let's see. Should I paint it yet? I've got some gold paint. I must not have brought it out. I'm just going to paint it gold because that's all I've got other than primer. And um, if uh, I'd like to have a different color for it, but I've got I've got gold paint and I'll paint it gold. Um, I think I'm I'm just going to leave the perch black. So I guess it doesn't it doesn't matter. I'd like to use a wooden perch. They just look so much better. A dowel. I probably should have drilled that out with my keyhole saw, but I didn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this over here and I'm going to spray this and we're going to let it dry and then we'll put the handle back in it. Okay, so the paint has dried. There's a couple little runs in it. Um, that spray paint really, really lays it on thick. Um, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to glue this on here. Yeah, see the... The, uh... The paint where it got real thick is not uh, it's not clear dry, but so we're gonna put that on there like that. Now to hang it, we're gonna put a couple little holes back here and maybe glue something back here to hang it with. Um, and then, uh, let's see, because you don't want to hang it from this, because if it gets too heavy, this may come off. You know what we can do, though? Hang on a second, I got an idea. So what we're going to do, we're going to screw this in here. Okay. We're going to glue this in. Just using hot glue. Like that. Glue it on the other side too. So it doesn't come out. 
put a little bit down there on that, on the inside of that. So that way that doesn't come out. Then we're just going to glue the lid on. I mean, think about it. Birdhouses, you never have to take the top off, right? So, this will hold it. Unless a squirrel gets in it. May come off with a squirrel, but... Okay. Now... Put a little more paint around there. It's a little light, but and I'm just going to keep working that around there. It's pretty much on. You can't really feel it snap with all that paint and glue, but okay. Now we're just going to go around the edge here. I'm almost out of glue. Well, I'm not out. I got more glue sticks in there. And it's hot if you get it on you, so be careful. Shut up. Old lady riding a bicycle. He's growling. settle now I'm gonna let that sit like that so the glue can run down and then yeah that's pretty hot once that dries we'll show you what we came up with okay guys so there's a birdhouse I had to move the hook I put a little glue there to cover the hole up but I had to move the hook forward because this is so heavy but you get, an, you get the idea. Do it however you want it. Decorate it. Whatever. You can partitionish, partition this off if you want it on the inside. And have a four bird birdhouse. Um, yeah, there's... So there you go. That's pretty cool. Well, guys. It's about 5 o'clock. I'm going to keep... Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I had to spray a little paint on here because I scratched some of it up some of it got on my fingers and then I'm gonna let it dry I'll see if she wants to hang it up somewhere later um, but thanks for thanks for joining me on my little vlog here on Friday uh, beautiful day out so I'm outside doing this stuff uh, enjoying the weather Bruno's down here with me he likes to hang out with me so again guys thanks for watching thanks for joining me and uh, hopefully, like I said, tomorrow, if I feel up to it, we can uh, maybe do a quick live stream over at the uh, over at the tree house. We'll just see how I feel. Um, feel a little better than I did this morning, so that's good. So anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, Legend. <sighs> Thought I seen a bird. <laughs> I'm gone for now. Bye, bye, guys, and take care.